Hi, I'm Kira. I'm Dollhouse Kira on Twitter, Vape TV, other social media. And today we're going to do a review on the Inakin iTaste MVP2. I have the Shine Edition, which has the Sportsky crystals on it. They also made the Plain Edition without a design in, I think, four different colors right now. Um, I know that this is what they call the sugar skull and I know that's available in black and pink I can't get a pink mod, pink is not my thing, I'm waiting for the purple to come out but to me it needs pointy teeth and it could be venom from Spider-Man I think it more looks more like a venom skull than a sugar skull with the way the eyes are but maybe that's just me, I'm weird, I don't know I'm not a very technical vapor. I'm going to try to get into some of the technical aspects of it as much as I can, but I'm not going to tell you shit that I don't know because I don't know it. I like to set things and set them once, which the battery on this will remember the last setting you had, even if you run it all the way down to red. Um, the light surrounding the button, it's hard to see because it flashes very quickly. But the light surrounding the button goes from green to yellow to red to let you know to recharge it. When it gets to red, when it gets down too low, it actually has a cutoff so you don't overdrain your battery. So it'll stop working before you can damage your battery. It's a 2600 mAh battery. And I just used the little iClear 16B that mine came with. It gives you detailed instructions. The different MVPs come with different kinds of tanks and it gives you pictorial instructions in the kit that tells you how to refill your tank if you don't know. It's very easy. Unscrew the bottom, refill it like any other tank, try not to eat anything down the center tube, screw the bottom back on. It uses the regular pro tank heads, which we just buy in the five pack. I get the 1.5 ohm heads just because I like the 1.5. Your mileage may vary. It's got a nice little display at the bottom that's a three digit display. It's got two buttons to hit. And of course, now it's not showing anything. There we go. It's got a puff counter on it. I don't know if anybody actually uses the puff counter. It resets after 999 since it is an only three digit display. But I don't know of anybody that actually goes, hey, how many puffs did I take? But you know, you might want to do that. It also has, um, you can change the wattage, you can change the voltage. I think it's it's easier just put it at 3.7 and 10 volts because that's what I vape and that's pretty much what I stay at. I have fluid stranella custard in here still. It's a nice little mod. It's very pocket friendly. Um, the button is very light touch to push, which is important to me because there are some days that some of the mechanical mods I'm not able to use because I'm not able to push the button correctly. So this one has a very light touch to use. So I think that one would be good if you have arthritis or if you have a hard time grabbing things. It's a very good mod for that. It's also not only a pass through on the bottom, but you have a little switch for input and output where you can switch it back and forth. Not only can you use it, as a pass through while you're charging it on the PC. But you can also plug in your phone or your laptop or whatever device you have and use it as a backup battery, which is very convenient if you have a cell phone that dies all the time, like I do. 2600 miles will get you a lot of phone time. I find that the battery, usually, I have to plug it in. If I use it as my main vape, I have to plug it in maybe at night. The battery lasts me a very long time. I do switch back and forth. I have, you know, mods everywhere. So I do switch back and forth during the day, but if I use this as my primary vape, usually I can vape it most of the day and just plug it in at night. I don't set the voltage and wattage. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't play with things. I don't futz with things. It does come with an extensive user manual and the user manual will go through step by step how to set everything. Um, like I said, when the battery goes dead, it does remember your last setting so you don't have to reset it every time it goes to red and you have to plug it in. 
which is nice because then I don't have to futz with anything. I just plug it in, unplug it when it turns green, and I go. It does have a 10 second cutoff on the switch. So if you have this in your pocket or purse or wherever and something's leaning on the button, after 10 seconds, it'll turn itself off and it won't fire the atomizer again until the button is released and pressed again. Which is nice for people that like to, it's, it's very pocket friendly. It's a good size to just throw in your pocket and go, I have little hands. So this is actually a good size for me. It fits in your basic shirt pocket. It fits in your pants pocket. It doesn't fit in your pants pocket if you have little tiny girly pants and little tiny pockets. But the average person's pocket, it will fit in. It's got an ohms meter. It'll tell you what ohms your coil is at. It's got a puff counter. Um, it does have the battery level indicator is around the button so you kind of have to hit it and move your thumb real quick but you kind of get used to it after a little bit so you can see where your battery is it will not let you over drain the battery <sighs> that's about it it's pocket friendly the eye clears aren't bad. I don't like the heads that it came with, so I just put my own ProJank heads in. But it's very pocket friendly, very portable. Really good as a backup mod. You can just put it in your purse or in your pocket without a tank on it. Use it as a battery backup for your cell phone, for your portable devices. Makes good vapor, as everything does. I don't go into the clouds. I don't care about the clouds. But it's my two cents on the eye taste MVP2. I like it. I think it's a very good starter mod if you're just getting into variable voltage and variable wattage. It's very easy to understand. It's very easy to set. It's very easy to play with. I don't play with my stuff. I got it because I thought it was cute. Your mileage may vary. Here's two cents from someone else. Hey everybody, this is Tony, a.k.a. Waknam from Vape TV's The Vaping Rewind. And I'm here to tell you that I approve of the MVP2 from Inakin. Try it. So will you.